Well, hi there, everyone. Today, I had the fortunate opportunity to pick up this oil bottle collection, which I thought I would share with you in case anyone else is into these, knows more about them, or just uh, might find it interesting. So this is about half of the collection here. Um, a majority that's left is the plastic bottles. So I thought we'd go through a few of these and take a look at some of the variances. So on the domestic side, we have quite a few of what I imagine are some sort of GI issue. This is a bore cleaner. Appears to be. We have quite a few of these smaller ones. This is from the Standard Oil Company out of Jersey. Just again, very similar. This is screaming USGI issue here. Um, of course, we got a couple the M1 bottles, things like that. Um, a few of these doubles. Like this. more this one these are all still most of them still have oil inside of them so that's why I'm wearing gloves and trying not to make a total mess let's take a look at some of the more unique ones no markings on this but a very neat bottle I know a lot of people collect different older bottles, and since this was firearms related, I thought it was interesting. Um, this one is really unique. It's a copper bottle that uh, will need some repair work. This one needs to be resoldered in here, but essentially, this goes like this and then folds back in. You fill it from here and of course, there's some things still inside of it. Um, let's see what else we have. So we have a couple pouches, belt loops. This one, plenty of oxidation, but appears to be a brass bottle. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Again, any help or references for some of these things is much appreciated. Here's another one with a pouch. This is a plastic bottle. I'm not sure if that's even correct for this pouch. Who knows? It was all a mystery. And then of course we have this one, which is just a standard Mosin bottle, I believe. A lot of these, a lot of these Mosin bottles. In fact, we'll go into a couple of those here. Um, some cool variants. You know, like I said, a lot of the standard type ones, uh, a lot of the singles. So many of these, in fact, this type here. And then we move on to some, some of the finished marked bottles. And who's this other one? Quite a few of the square ones too. This one's BU marked. Sounds a little different. S U marked. All are in pretty good shape. Um, a few. This one is P something S M marked. Still almost full. And one I didn't show, which is this one. I think this one's really interesting. I haven't seen one like this before. It appears to be Russian. Double in a single bottle, but still round. Brass or bronze. Very cool, very cool. I didn't want to forget this one. It's pretty unique. A lot of these are really in great shape. Um, there's, out of the whole collection, there's a few that have cracks, plastic ones. Uh, I'll show you a couple of these. These are Hungarian, I believe. There's a crack in the back. I've, there's a couple of those in the collection. 
and let's go get into some of the other plastic ones some green ones no markings green different green no markings then we have this darker green the star on it different green different star on it different green different star on it and then we have like a white clear with a different star and then we have a brown orange type here a lighter pea green kind of then we have some of these square rectangle ones some Russian Yushev's Mars game there I believe and a couple more like this with no markings and some slight variances this marking here a couple of these this one's got some damage there and then the bigger ones this might even be a flask or a canteen um, and then you know I have a whole big box of just multiples of these so um, pretty nice collection overall um, there's some more American products this is uh, Okay, well this and this is just uh, face paint and sunburn preventative cream. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. A couple more of these little bottles that are really cool. Really cool and interesting. This is a cutout, so it goes up against something. Uh, but again, I don't really know a lot about these. So, any thoughts here are much appreciated. This one. The lighting is not so great in here, but I needed this giant table. A couple like this. This one. Very cool, very cool. Even in the collection, Pure Americana, Daisy Gun Oil for their BB gun for your Red Rider. So it kind of runs the gamut of everything. Here's another one of these larger squared rectangle shaped bottles, but kind of runs the gamut here. Um, overall, pretty interesting collection. Just thought I'd share it with you guys in case anyone else is interested. Um, if you know anything about these, please let me know. Uh, if you want to see anything else more in depth, also let me know. I'd be glad to do a follow up with you. So just thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.